This playthrough is rated T for teen. All right, we're back. I've done a little bit better job this time. I've uh, just kind of focused a lot of my attention and, and, and secured an area, wait, basically waiting for Puck to get there because he won't completely save the day, but he definitely helps in that regard, like helps us out with like uh, fighting them and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, I didn't do so well the first time because I was just trying to test out all the moves and everything like that, but. Uh, yeah, this can be kind of hard if you don't build up your defense and and uh, and other such things. So it's just yeah, that's the problem with the Rune Path. For being such a goofy set, it actually next to maybe fighting Faulkner and Zolwarn in the Kingdom Path, this is probably one of the hard harder like battles to do. You know, just needs to be how it works half the time. I leave that for. Nah, you can counter, so I'll just leave that. Well enough alone. At least Dyer isn't too bad to fight. Alright, now that we have a better focus and pucks in the, uh, in the general area, we, we should be able to uh, handle anything that we come across. Especially with his double attack too, so... Booyah! Almost straight up... Yeah, straight up killed Dyer! I cannot believe it! I fought this idiotic attack and I still lost! Yeah, l luckily we were able to get his Sidira conversation, which is good. Uh, he's probably still got smack us in there, yeah. Now yeah, well, we'll just take coin this, so we can a lot of those people do their abilities. But, uh, I mean, it can still be beat. It's just... It is slightly di more difficult because of just the circumstances surrounding it and everything. Yeah, making sure to heal up Reyna with a... I probably should have maybe given a second character a, an Earth Gem just to help out with, like, healing. Or maybe even given the Earth Gem to, uh, an Earth Gem to Reyna. Since we never learned Reyna... Since the way I did, I didn't learn Reyna's trick. It's not like she was doing much damage anyway. She kind of does get relegated to side... Side, uh or a, a support character pretty quickly in the game. Like, at first she seems like she can hold her own, but it doesn't take too long for the game to just go, uh, uh, have us just make her use the support role, which is, in a tactics game, you should have a support role, so, I mean. But, anyway. Ooh, boy, look at all that damage. Yeah, getting them to get at frozen is pr pretty much the way to go. And the AI seems to not mind getting frozen quite often. Like, it happens quite frequently. And then she finished off Zakoff. I don't know if Zakoff had any comedic moments with any of the co- No more 60 dining for me! Said no guy ever! No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't know. I don't think Zakov had any funny lines with any characters. Maybe with Barlow, because he randomly had a conversation with Barlow and, and other paths that we ran across him with, but... Well... Yeah, just get, get the basic ones up, so... Alright, all we got is Faulkner and Maddock, and Maddock isn't as bad, so... Faulkner will be kind of tough, but we should be able to handle it pretty, pretty well, so... Actually, I don't think I needed to coolly miss them because I think Andrew was the one who needed the mist on that, but oh well. That'll work. Alright, let's start uh, kind of setting up a defense against Faulkner. Oh, here comes Matt. Obviously, we don't have to move too far. Oh, right, I still need to show their combat because I didn't show that. There's a reason why I want to show like what it looks like just for uh, all intents and purposes. Okay, now we got it on the system. Okay, anyway, let's uh, work on finishing him off. Actually, Puck will probably do the, the brunt of the damage here. It almost seems like the game was expecting Puck to basically do most of the killing for a lot of the characters. Of course! Why didn't I think of reviving the Zolorn? <laughs> because you're dumb! Wow! Ugh! Wow, Puck beat... Pulling out the pulling out the bombs there. And there goes Faulkner. I swallowed my pride to enter the battle with this absurd attack, and yet I was defeated. I am completely humiliated. I will never show my face in public again. I am now an outcast. Goodbye, cruel world. Well, Faulkner kinda just 
accepted his fate, really. I, feel, I almost feel bad for the guy. Almost. Alright, we just gotta deal with Maddox, and really, for, for the most part, we're good to go there. Because I doubt Bastion's gonna get taken out, so... We'll just wait for him to come to us. Probably not gonna risk. Yeah, she could take us out, so. Oops. I'm gonna see if uh, Bastion has any uh, attack or conversation with Maddox. There we go. I've never seen your attack before. Where is it from? This is the attack attack built by Puck. Excellent! I look forward to seeing which of our designs is stronger. What do you mean? Huh. Eh, that's probably not important. See if Millie has any. Nah, Millie doesn't have anything. I bet Sadira has something. Let's see if she has any uh, conversation with him. That will kill her. I'll just do Tornado. That'll probably work. There we go. Yep. Maddox, why, why is it that each of your ATAX is more bizarre than the last? Are they merely a reflection of your growing insanity? It is a pity that my genius cannot be understood by ornate periods such as yourself, Sidira. Of course, your lower than average intelligence does not help either. What? Okay. I don't think Barlow has anything, but we'll uh, we'll do something for just to see. Nah, I didn't think so. All right, Puck, finish him off. Heaven's gate, his ass. How did you awaken the Zolhorn? Um. Answer me! That's a secret! What? Oh, I didn't even see that facial design from him before. Alright. Here he comes. That's it. The final boss from the main game somehow beats the uh, main boss from this uh, story. Oh, uh, well, baby. My glorious technology was beaten. My magnificent attack destroyed. I refuse to believe it. I will never accept this defeat. This is a bad dream! No! It's over at long last! Man. Talk about a silly way to end, end this game. Although, then again, this game was never... I don't know, it did get super serious at times, but not too bad. And Faulkner saw me at the final bit because he, he was ashamed of himself. Now then, Dyer, what are you going to do? I'm going to call up the search for the traitor! I'm going to speak with Father right away about forging an alliance with the kingdom. Wait, his dad's still alive in the storyline? Huh. Usually he gets killed. And I'm going to forget this embarrassing chapter of my life ever happened. <laughs> what has Father been doing lately anyway? I haven't seen him since I ran away. He's been sleeping. I love that dire sucking his thumb picture. <laughs> huh? He keeps claiming he's too tired to do anything. I think he might be near the end of his days. I'm sure he'll listen to whatever I have to say. I suppose I'll just have to wake Father up, won't I? We're leaving, Dyer! Alright. I had a lot of fun adventuring with you, Bastion. That's because you caused all sorts of trouble and had us protect you from the consequences. Be sure to come and visit me soon. Take care. Goodbye! Yeah, we're not doing that. Skedaddle out of there. I will be paying Sadir a visit right around the time hell freezes over. <laughs> Amen. I don't think I'm going to miss her very much either. Well, one, only one question remains. What are we going to do with the old man? I suggest you stop referring to me with my given name, old man indeed. Now then, I have a question to ask of the little boy with the spectacles. What do you want to know? You were able to revive the Zolwar attack when, according to the myths, the legend regarding it, many gallons of human blood are referred to, required to fuel its components. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't see. I didn't see Puck murdering people. Is it true? I just made some adjustments to the amount of blood it needed, and then I pricked my finger. It was easy. Disgusting. Nasty. You fed the Zolwar with your own blood? Puck, are you sure that's what was a wise thing to do? What do you mean, Bastion? I did it because I wanted to help you. 
I don't know about that. Some things you got to not do to help people. The Zolwarn's hunger has been awakened, little boy, and it will use you to satisfy its desires. I have not heard the tales, Puck, that the Zolwarn has been imbued with malevolent spirit. Oh, sorry. Have you not heard the t tales, Puck, that the Zolwarn has been imbued with malevolent spirits? Bastion, you're just silly. The Zolwarn is just a really weird attack. That's all. An attack fueled by blood is not weird, Puck. It's evil. Yeah, I would agree. And on that note, I'm out, I'm out of here. Got business to take care of. Yeah, she's going to get out of here before she has to deal with that crap. Bye, Reina. Thanks for all your help and sticking with me to the end. And uh, Marquis Dion is expecting my return, so I should leave before it uh, gets dark. Bye, Andrew. Pervy Ninja. Thanks for all your help. What's the matter with everyone? I don't get it either. Don't they want to stay for the celebration feast? Yeah, we saved the world and the continent. We should be celebrating. I would love to stay as well, but uh, must return to Avalon. Or, I mean, we both do. Isn't that right, Melia? We do? Oh, I, I mean, we do. Take care now. <laughs> Even the main character is getting out of here. Hold on, you guys. You're about to learn something very interesting. Hmm, yes. Are you going to tell them your dark secret? They deserve to know of your lineage, grandson. Huh? Maddock is your... Wait, we never learned this until the goofy path? The ruined path? Huh, that's his granddad, huh? Wait, what about his dad, then? I guess it doesn't matter. It's a JRPG. Dads don't matter. What? Puck, why didn't you tell us? I just thought it'd be a little more dramatic this way. Well, now that you have to point it out... My dad used to tell me how you paid more attention to your intact designs than to him, Grandpa. I guess that's why he ran away from you, and that's why I always wanted to be a better engineer than you. And now I, I find out that you didn't even have the skills to activate the Ultra Gunner. How disappointing. You dirty little turd. I'll show you disappointing. Wow. I haven't heard the word turd in forever in a, in a game. Puck has never spoken like this to anyone before. I'm convinced that the Zorn is affecting him. Why is Puck acting this way? How long has he been harboring these secrets in his anger? I thought that becoming the best engineer in the continent would feel more satisfying somehow. Man, talk about a character who almost makes no appearances in any of the storylines, all of a sudden gets all this screen time. It's quite surprising. That's probably why they did this. An arrogant midget bastard! Wow. Talking to your grandson that way, huh? It's alright, though. I just need to set a new goal for myself. I already have one in mind. I think you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Bastion? Uh... You don't have to be afraid of the Zolward, Bastion. I mean, look at Barlow here. He's not afraid at all. I showed him the Zolward and he thought it was neat. He gave it a few drops of blood. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Didn't you, Barlow? I sure did. Idiot. Barlow? It was really fun, Bastion. You and Millie should try it, too. Puck even says I can try it again whenever I want. Why would you want to... Oh, wait, people do donate blood. Not for fun, but still. That's a little creepy. Isn't that... A, won't that affect your blood sugar, Barlow? Thanks for the offer, Barlow, but I'll keep my bodily fluids to myself, Gross. Barlow is acting strangely as well. Bastion, we should leave. Yes, quickly. Bastion, I'm sure that you're going to be the best king ever. Oh, yeah, I did say that at one point, didn't I? Um, perhaps I can give it back? I just hope I can give you advice once in a while, you know, since you and me are friends and all. Alright? Uh... I said, would that be alright? Oh, uh... Of course, Puck. Great! I'm glad, Bastion. Well, I'm gonna go mess around with the Zolward. I'm, it's quite a fascinating attack, you know? Maybe I can use some of its designs to improve the Tic Tac, like that amazing blood fuel system. No, that's a bad idea. Let's go, Bastion. We have the entire world ahead of us. I feel stranger with every word Puck says to me. My thoughts are becoming clouded. My body feels weak. It must resist the tide of darkness that is rising. And that's the end of the of the of the ruined path. Yeah, for being a, such a comedic path, it has a really dark ending where basically P Zolward basically wins. It's like the uh, the lost ending on the kingdom path. And yeah, we can save our uh, data. And I want to show you something after the credits roll. This is probably going to be kind of a long episode. 
And yeah, that's not creepy enough. It has, for the ending music, is the happiest music out of all. Dance to the music, viewers. Dance as, as we have this victory uh, conclave for the final uh, ending of the game. So that was the Ruin Path of Vanguard Bandits. Yes, the, yeah, it's called the Ruin Path because basically because you choose the, you know, I want to conquer the continent line from Sadira completely changes the, uh, story and how it goes to the very end. A lot of people kind of almost call it the uh, comedic route as well as the rune path because of how how just how goofy and silly the path goes after that scene occurs. You know, the whole Sidira all of a sudden becoming like this crazy spoiled princess who just wants to wander the land. Dyer becoming a... Well, actually, Dyer was also a whiny brat but always a whiny brat, but in this case it became extreme. Faulkner ends up not being the actual main final boss it gets humiliated at the end uh puck's revelation that he's maddox's grandson uh and actually has some lines in the finale of the game barlow actually gets lines in the rune path as well as andrew and milia for the most part uh and then using the tic tac which actually wasn't a bad machine it's actually kind of it was actually pretty powerful but yeah the rune slash goofy path um I don't know if I call this my favorite path in the game, but it's it's quite enjoyable just because of how silly it is. And this path is really meant for people who have played the game multiple times. Kind of like how some games would give you, like the Silent Hill would give you the uh, the UFO endings or the or the the dog ending because you played the game so many times. You can they give it's kind of like a bonus for just playing their game so much that you uh, get this. Uh, pathway, which you'd only figure it out if you played the game, because you have to beat the game once to unlock the option to do Ruin Path. So if you basically beat the game and never play it again, well then again the Empire, actually the Empire Path can be gotten without uh, without uh, playing the game once. You just have to hit a certain level at a point. But still, like yeah, it's basically kind of a almost a reward for playing the game again and then using the same save file. So that was kind of neat, but, uh, but yeah, I enjoy the rude path because of how how silly and goofy it is. Not my favorite path because I, I am more of a a serious, or okay, not serious, but you know where I have a straightforward storyline. But I don't mind the silly things that the game producer does uh, after you beat the game because it's not part of the main storyline, so you can do stuff like that. So it was a nice change of pace from all the other paths. I don't know. I think my favorite path still is probably the Sicilia. Empire Path, uh, because I'm a sucker for those types of things, but, uh, uh, yeah, I like the Ruin Path, also ending credits as well, I don't know why for it being such a happy tune for such a, uh, depressing ending, you know, uh, and surprising, too, that's probably why it's called the Ruin Path, because of that, but, uh, but yeah, we've officially beaten everything in Vanguard Bandits, however, there is a couple of, uh, little bonuses we get for beating the game, and yeah, this is gonna be um, slightly longer than expected, so uh, uh, stick with me on this, folks. So anyway, when uh, I probably have shown this a couple of times, but I've never actually done anything with it. Um, when you beat the game and save your loaded files, it saves everything you've done before. Now, if you've done everything you should, which I did, uh, I messed up on a couple of times when I was doing recording, so I don't have all the missions unlocked. But all the missions get unlocked when you um, beat the Kingdom storyline. Uh, with the, the good ending and the bad ending, so those count as full missions, so that's 20, I think that's 21, uh, oh wait, see, okay, so you get 21 endings by doing the Kingdom Path with uh, doing the good and bad endings, so that's 21, then you ha redo the Kingdom Path to get the other two pathways that you didn't get before, which is either doing get Nana or not get Nana, and, uh, you know, that area where Ra where you choose to listen to Radcliffe's thing. So that's a couple there. Then there's the Empire Endings, which is another 20. And then there's another four that you get from choosing either Cecilia or Sidira's path. And then there's the Ruin Path as well. So if you do all those, you'll get 56 missions. That you unlock that. As far as I know, you don't get anything for unlocking them all other than the game telling you that you have more to play. Uh, the ATAC viewer is as it is. I think I showed it up before, but basically shows off every single enemy in the game right here. So you can look at number 80. So you look at the Urigal or the number 86. So if you just want to look at all the designs, it's kind of cool. I won't show them all, but that's... And then you can listen to all the end credits uh, right here. Um, right. Uh, I think you can just skip them after playing them. But uh, yeah, but bells anyway. 
Uh, but yeah, you can listen to Bells, Fanfare, Ballad. If I got, if I had the other endings unlocked on this file, like I said, it messed up on it. Have all the end credit options because it's supposed to have uh, one, two, three, four. It's supposed to have four, but I don't have the bad ending saved on here because of of how I did it. Because really, the way you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to get the bad ending, save it, and then redo it again, so you can actually have it saved on your file if you do it properly. Anyway. And then music is just uh, all the... I don't think I have all the music unlocked either, but you can actually play all the... Uh, 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 some of the music as well. Um, let's see. where It's either an ATAC viewer where you can play all the actual songs in the game. Um, yeah, if you go to... Um, let's see. Okay, hold on. How do I change the songs again? <laughs> okay, there we go. You press the... L2 and right, L2 triggers, but anyway, you can, uh, um, and you press square, and it'll play all the songs of the game. See? It has all the little beats and everything like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's cool. I think my favorite song is still, I think it's Rainbow. But anyway, yeah, so you can play all the songs if you want to just listen to the soundtrack, or you could go online. Yeah. But anyway, and then the music is supposed to be for the, um, intro credits and the stuff that is on the main screen stuff like that like I believe is the um that the the intro but anyway the really the thing i really want to show you is the uh you can now watch because now that we've done the rune ending we can watch the opening movie which is what we see at the beginning however we can watch some of the bloopers of the game which is the opening credit with some uh different uh changes and you'll find out here in just a second um, these are just fun to watch just because it's basically just the game designer is just messing around. So I'll show you. This is Bloopers 1. I think there's only slight differences between the two. And listen to the voice uh, song too. <laughs> it falls over there. Uh, you can tell the differences. but the, See, it shows Raina and Amelia there instead of uh, Sidira and Amelia. Yeah, to show Sadira, Zakov, and, and Badok in his 69, and Puck in the Zolworn. <laughs> yeah, it's completely different from the... I mean, I guess I could have been quiet, but I thought as a goofy moment, I wanted to just show it. Now, the difference in the bloopers is really slightly different. Like, this one shows all the... Yeah, see, uh, it has the same song from the normal intro, so we can ignore that one, but... <laughs> it's just, you can't take it seriously. Eddie's using the Tic Tac, too. I mean, there's probably, if you want a, a non, like, commentary version of this, uh, it's, you can find the bloopers online easily, so. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you can see he's just sad. He's just like, why am I doing this? And Randa's just smacking him. Uh, so that's bloopers one now. I Like I said, it's only slightly different between the bloopers. They're, like, not hugely different. Um, there's one that has a really funny, um, uh, the song itself is actually different, and I, I, I'm trying to remember which one that is. I think it starts after two, but just listen to the lyrics. No, this, it's not this one. Because, like I said, I don't remember, because a lot of the bloopers, yeah, aren't, aren't a whole lot different between the two. Because this is two. Let's see. I'm just trying to see if the lyrics change at all. No. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, I don't... They say there's different bloopers, but I don't think there are any of the other bloopers are different, though. I might just skip to five uh, if it doesn't change at all. Because, I, cause, yeah, I think I remember last time trying to find out what the difference was between the different bloopers. Like, if the song was different or if the animation was slightly different. But, uh, um, I think the bloopers were supposed to be different in the lyrics of the song, but for some reason the, uh, uh, translation team didn't change it, I think. I think that was supposed to be the case. So we'll, okay, so we'll just skip to the, uh, um, we'll skip to the final, uh, uh, blooper, because I, like I said, I don't think the rest of them are different, so... 
Yeah, see, it's all the same. So, okay, so let's just skip to blooper five, which the one thing I want you to listen to is the song, is uh, what she sings. So the other one's like all like, oh, release yourself, save the world, all this other stuff. But uh, I think it's this one, so. It's supposed to, uh, yeah, if you listen to the song, she's talking about, like, releasing a fart in Sphincter. I think the other blooper has changed some of the lyrics slightly, but basically the song is, it's a fart song. So the whole point of the intro is made a joke about releasing a fart. That's it. So I thought that was pretty funny. I mean, it's not like a laugh out loud hilarious, but I thought it was quite enjoyable. But, uh, well, that's it, folks. That is everything in uh vanguard bandits uh for the most part everything good and bad about it uh i guess i should give my final thoughts before we log off to this game once and for all i'll probably have to split this episode into two i'll try to find a good spot to um split it into that because it's kind of going on for quite a bit but i felt it's better just to have a just a long recording session in, in this part and to show it all but uh vanguard bandits what can i say for the final little bit uh I enjoyed this game when I bought it a long time ago. I think it was back in, like, 98 or something like that. It's when I... PlayStation's probably... I mean, next to... Actually, probably my favorite era of gaming is probably the Super Nintendo era. But PlayStation's pretty close. And mainly because I found a lot of a lot of weird gems like this because of games like... Or companies like Atlas or Working Designs translating some of the otter RPGs that came out here. Unfortunately, most Japanese RPGs now don't... Even the ones we don't get don't interest me as much, and maybe that's because of my age or because it seems all samey to me. I mean, obviously it's not meant for me. The audience isn't. Um, but back in this time, I was willing to get anything and everything that was RPG. If it was an RPG, I was going to play it. And I played some weird and strange ones, and a lot of them were actually quite enjoyable. And I think this one included. Yeah, it's not a 10 out of 10 strategy game. It definitely has issues because... You know, the AI doesn't use all of its abilities. It does a lot of stupid decisions. There's no difficulty changer. Uh, a lot of functions that should work in the game. Either if they work, they're not really noticeable enough. Um, a, uh, characters didn't get enough screen time over the course of the game like they should have. Or I wish there was more moments where they had more conversation bits um, to make them more useful. But I did like the fact that the game had multiple endings. You know, the Kingdom Path, Empire Path with two different variations, and then the Ruin Path for those who wanted just something a bit more comical with a weirdly dark ending to it. Um, the music was fantastic for the most part. Most of the songs are pretty memorable. I think that's because, like I said, I, I remember a lot of video game music from the PlayStation and before. Not that there weren't good songs after the fact. It's just I think because of the restrictions of a lot of the machines, it allowed for a lot more fun and creative songs well nowadays when you can basically do anything with anything there's not as many restrictions so you can kind of you kind of get a lot of general ballads and 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 stuff that for the most part doesn't seem memorable to me and perhaps that's a flaw in my reasoning as well but uh but yeah i really i, I enjoyed this game like i said it's not perfect but and i like to pop it in every once in a while just to have fun with it and uh you know it can be weirdly difficult at times but uh, overall it's a fun experience um, I think you can get this game for like, at least at the time, either like five or 10 bucks on the PSN store. So if you, 
I believe it's available. I could swear I've seen it before. I have a physical copy, but I've kept a lot of working designs games that I had from a long time ago because too bad they're no longer around. And one of those ones that they uh, uh, translated. So anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed me on this full Vanguard Bandits adventure. Hope it gave you a reason to maybe try out the game for yourself to, to play it, see if you like it or not. Uh, but either way, uh, that'll be it, the end of this playthrough. And I'll uh, see you all, folks, when uh, when I pop in another old game from my from my days, and we'll uh, see what else we what, what I've got in my uh, inventory of uh, collection. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.